Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Uh, salam to all my brothers and sisters. Salam alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, brother, I am a new reverter Muslim. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me chance to put my Muslim name. He says, live as a Muslim. If you want to live, uh, live as a Muslim, if you want to die, die as a Muslim to follow the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallam and book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Quran. Brother, I am a short uh, on visit uh, to Bombay. I have visited several places in Bombay and several mosques. I have noticed Muslim brothers. Sometimes I feel very pity. When I have seen coming out from the mosque, mashallah, uh, growing a big uh, beard, and when they come out from the mosque holding a cigarette and eating a pan, which is look like an oil paint, and the smoking like a blowing balloon, how do you feel the non-Muslim brother as a priest the Islam? So that poses the question that when he goes to many mosques, he sees that Muslims and they come out, they smoke cigarette and they eat pan, it looks bad. What is the opinion? Is it right or wrong? First, whether is cigarette smoking allowed or not? And there are various fatwas given. Previously, the ulama used to give a fatwa. It is makhru based on the knowledge that they had. But today, science is advanced, and the scholars have changed the opinion. Based on the Quranic verse of Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 195, which says that do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction. Do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction. According to latest research, it tells us today that according to the World Health Organization, there are more than a million people every year who only die because of cigarette smoking. Out of the 90% of the people that die due to lung disease, due to lung cancer, is due to cigarette smoking. Out of the 70% of the people that die because of bronchitis, die because they smoke cigarette. Out of the 25% who die because of cardiovascular disease, is because they smoke cigarettes. It is nothing but slow poisoning. Cigarette contains nicotine and tar. Leave aside how it looks. Leave aside how it looks. According to the latest fatwas given by more than 400 ulamas, they say cigarette smoking is haram because the Quran says, do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction. And not only does it harm you, it even harm your neighbors. Because the research tells us today that the wives of the chain smokers, they have more chances of having lung cancer because passive smoking is more dangerous. Active smoking directly is harmful. Passive smoking means the smoke which you exhale out and if somebody else inhales that, it is more dangerous. There are various ill effects. When you smoke, it causes blackening of the lips, blackening of the teeth, damage to the gums, blackening of the fingers, it damages the throat, it causes peptic ulcer, it causes constipation, it causes loss of libido, it causes loss of vigor, the person's appetite is gone, it even causes loss of memory. So based on all these researches, today's ulama, there are more than 400 fatwas given saying that cigarette smoking is haram. According to the Quranic verse, Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 195, which says, do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction. So irrespective of whether it looks good or not, it is not allowed in Islam. Regarding having pan etc., pan per se, if it contains tobacco, Tobacco in any form, whether smoking, whether hookah, whether chewing, is as good as slow poisoning, which is haram. Otherwise, otherwise the pan doesn't contain tobacco, only contains supari. It may look bad, that's a different thing. But Islam, Islam doesn't have any prohibition. It may be harmful for the health. A doctor may say, don't indulge in having pan. It may cause loss to your teeth, your gums may get spoiled. That's a different issue. But where Islam is concerned, tobacco in any form is prohibited. Hope that answers the question.